I think the biggest thing that I had to heal was my own sense of self-loathing and this core limiting belief that went in very deeply a long time ago that I was inherently bad, I was unworthy, I was undeserving. And I carried that with me throughout a lot of my life into, you know, into my early 20s, which fortunately I, be, I became exposed to the whole personal development field at that time. Um, and one of the ways that I healed it was to develop what I call the inner nurturing parent. And this is one of the most powerful keys in Soulmate and in the work that I do. Um, it's, most of us did not have that unconditionally loving, perfectly nurturing parent because they didn't have, our parents didn't have those kinds of parents. And a lot of people feel bitter about it, they feel like a victim, and they walk around with a chip on their shoulder, and they either walk around feeling undeserving, or they walk around feeling entitled and like this bottomless pit trying to get that void filled. So what you do is you embody that energy of the inner nurturing parent. You start saying to yourself aloud, even when you're on your own, um, things like, good job, I'm here. When fear starts to come up, when you feel kind of sad, you say, oh, honey, you're feeling bad. Literally um, saying these things, it's, it's, it's loving action toward yourself. It's things like uh, if you live alone and you don't share your bed with somebody on a regular basis, a lot of people don't make their bed every day because they say, oh, well, it's just me. It's, it's getting up in the morning and consciously making your bed for yourself and saying, I'm going to make your bed for you. And then consciously getting into bed at the end of the night and with this feeling of gratitude that you've done this for yourself. It's doing kind things, not just as a concept of I love myself, but okay, what's the loving action? It's treating yourself like you would toward, in the same way that you feel some, uh, toward somebody, very, a lot of tenderness, unconditional love, the sense of nurturance. You start showering that on yourself and doing those things and it is absolutely transformational. And it was transformational for me. And I know the moment when I really, for years, I worked affirmations, I'm loving myself unconditionally, all those kinds of things. And still, I'd have this feeling of self-loathing. And when I got that I had to start doing loving things to actually embody and integrate this, sent, this, this concept, this affirmation, it was transformational. And I remember the moment that I really felt for the first time flooded inside of me with admiration, with respect, with tenderness, compassion toward myself, it was amazing, really amazing. And when that moment happens, that pivotal moment happens with people with whom I'm working, I just get sometimes moved to tears because we are all so magnificent and also, also beautiful people and human beings. And when you can help somebody reconnect to that, because they, it, the truth is they are that. And it, it's painful to experience somebody who believes something differently. So it's a happy day when they have, make that connection.